Mites! It is I, Xander Ace! Aiden Caver. We are the Aussies, and we're still your BCW Tag Team Champions of the World! Whew! A lot of mites out there didn't quite think we'd get this far, eh, Aiden? They didn't think we had the marks, we didn't think they had the guts, we didn't have the talent or the skills. Me and this man right here, this is my brother. My brother at arms. Not just because we're the same nationality. No, 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 no. This man right here, Aiden Caver. We fought together. We bled together. We've cried together. We've rode together. On the road, away from home, we have rode all across the states of the Americas. We will conquer them all. Because we still got a lot more to conquer. This man right here, Xander Ace. At first I thought we couldn't work together. But like he just said, we have exceeded your expectations. Hell, we've exceeded our own expectations. And we intend to only go up from here. We stand at the top of the BCW Tag Team Division. And we're putting all the other tag teams across the virtual wrestling world on notice. We don't care where you're from. You want to fight? Come fight us because we're determined to prove we're the best damn tag team going today. We don't care where you're from. We don't care who you represent. The Aussies intend to beat every single one of your blokes and send you packing back home. While we bring honor and prestige to not only these tag team championships and not just the great continent of Australia. We intend to bring honor and prestige to this company that took a chance on us. BCW, this is our home. And BCW, we shall remain until our dying days. What kind of shit show are you running around here? Huh? Yeah, I get offered an opportunity to come down here from Britain and compete in some kind of new talent showcase match or to have some fucking clone boy show up and take all the spotlight away from me. What the bloody hell is that? Chill, chill, chill. No, 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 no. No, no, no. I ain't gonna chill. You're gonna listen to me right here and you can listen to me right now, Cole Quinn. Mr. I Cut is not on a bloody gimmick. I deserve more respect than that. I am pissed off, and I'm going to demand a bigger raise if you want to keep me around here. Hold on. First of all, it wasn't just about you. It was about the other guys in that match, too. Second of all, I specifically had no clue that Nico was going to show up. I don't even think Baron did. I certainly hope he did, and if he did, I apologize for that. And third of all, why are you coming to me for this? I may be close to Baron, but I don't run BCW. I can't give you a raise. Why would I want to give you a raise? I was specifically told that if I came down here, Baron Blade would sign me, and for a large sum of money. Well, you know what? I just decided maybe that money, maybe a raise, isn't quite worth it. You know what? I'll go back to where I'm more valued. Blackpool Wrestling Organization. Hell, you know what? Maybe I hear there's a certain monopoly going around, getting talent. It could use a young guy like me. Hmm? You're not going to win by joining them. You're never going to go anywhere. <laughs> oh, you can watch me. And while you're watching me, you can watch me leave. Unless you want to kiss my ass, that is. <laughs> Friggin' weirdo. Growing up in Germany, 
My father always told me, despite how dominant I am, eventually all will suffer the defeats. And tonight was that night. I lost the BCW Intercontinental Championship to my rival Goliath. I have no qualms in admitting I was defeated and tonight Goliath was the better man. But I will not let this loss define me. I will use this loss to inspire me to come back more dominant than ever. That being said, I intend to return home to Germany to train, to better myself for the next battle, whether it be with Goliath for the Intercontinental Championship, or whether it be a poor soul who stands in my way of being the most dominant individual in all of virtual wrestling. Let this be known to all. You will remember the name Virgil Von Irvin. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Samson Miller, the man behind the Take Back Pro Wrestling movement. And I am a man under a lot of slander and controversy as of late, after my actions at the BCW Metropolitan Mayhem show. What I did to Gabriel Perez was seen as distasteful and disrespectful to a culture by some, but I saw it as a way to take pro wrestling back to its roots. That mask at Gabriel Perez, that mask at the Almago family, and every other luchador such as Kid Loco, and many others wear around their faces, represents nothing more but a, than a bunch of flippy doos and flips and flops, and not to mention an entire company where people were killed off and magic was implemented. MAGIC! Who uses magic in a wrestling league? Preposterous! There's no such thing. That is why I did what I did to Mr. Perez. Taking off his mask, exposing his face to the masses. I still possess this mask. I do not intend to do anything horrible to it, but I will hold on to it. To remind the people of what taking back pro wrestling requires someone such as I, who truly cares about taking pro wrestling back to its roots, has to do to accomplish my mission. I will not be compromised. And if you have any issues with this, I will have no problem locking you up in the cattle mutilation and tapping you out. And any, if, if any of the El Mago family have an issue with that as well, I will be more than happy that to take their mask as well and add them to my seemingly growing collection. My name is Samson Miller, the leader of the Take Back Pro Wrestling movement, and I approve of this message. <laughs> Was there ever any doubt, amigos? Tino Vota, still PCW United States Champion. Tyler Mustangster, amigo. You did excellent. You put on one hell of a competition. And, amigo, you're going to go place alongside the social outcast friends. But tonight was Tito Vota's night. Tonight, Tito Vota continues to prove why he is the most dominant, most dominant champion in BCW history. And I am aiming high, 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 high in the sky, compadre. But for now, I got a title to defend, I say. The United States Championship means the world to Tito Vota. And Tito Vota will not surrender this championship, no. If BCW, if anybody for that matter, wants to see Tito Vota without the United States Championship, then you're gonna have to pin me in that ring one, two, three, or you're going to have to tap me out in the middle of that ring. Something 
And so far in Dina Volta's career, nobody has been able to do. He word being not yet a Sevato. I want a shot at that United States Championship the next time BCW's got a big show. Whoa, 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 hold on there, amigo. Tiro Vota appreciates the excitement. But what have you truly done, Diego, to earn a shot at Tiro Vota's United States Championship? What makes you think you can just come up to Tiro Vota and say you want a match and expect Tiro Vota to give you that match? I don't know, compadre. I thought you would have been a fighting champion. What's the matter? You scared that this kid's going to take your U.S. title? Because if we face off in that ring, that's just what's going to happen, is it? <laughs> I see what you're doing here, amigo. Tira Vota sees right through you. You are very smart, amigo. Tira Vota is a fighting champion. Tira Vota will defend against everybody. If your reasoning is you doubt Tira Vota's ability to defend this championship, that's all the reason Tira Vota needs to accept. You want a match for my United States Championship? You're on, compadre. But when you face Tito Vota, just be expected to meet the end-all, be-all of BCW. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, my name is the indomitable Wally Yanks. And tonight here at BCW, I made my presence felt in that little hardcore scramble. Didn't quite get the job done, but hey, you know, a good effort in there. Still continuing my quest to get somewhere big, but in BCW, you've been a fantastic audience. But, 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 but. That's not why I'm here right now, because I'm going to get right to the point, you know? Don't give me a script, because I'm going to go right off it. It's what I like to do, you know? All jokes aside here, ladies and gentlemen. There's something I've been meaning to say, something I've been meaning to talk about for a while, and that's somebody walking around here calling himself Mr. Two Belts. Hmm. That could be a lot of people, but I'm talking about a Mr. SWA's Landon Cruz. A guy who legitimized a legit title, but, but a guy who still seems to be hanging on to that VGW NXT International Championship. Is that right? International Championship? See, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Why don't I like it? No idea. But I just don't like it. So, Landon Cruz, I'm making a challenge to you, Mr. Good Times Only. You and me for the VGW NXT International Championship at Collaboration. That's right. Big Match Wally is making the challenge. But Wally, I hear you say, that title's discontinued. I don't care. I still want it. So, Landon Cruz, I expect... A reply here soon, because I'm itching to step into the ring on a big stage once again, because I got that taste in my mouth once, and ooh, it was so sweet. Kind of bittersweet, but still sweet. And I intend to get another taste of it once again. And this time, a bit more of a permanent taste in the mouth. <laughs> and just like that, once again, another man falls to the king. Justin, you really thought you had a chance out there, didn't you? I'll give you credit where credit's due. You had me on the ropes. But 
you got to think. You wonder why I'm the king. It's because a king is smart. And it just so happened, the referee was taken out. It was any man's ball game then. So, what I do? It struck while the iron was hot. Anyone, any way I can. Because a king doesn't have to play nice. I will do anything to keep my BCW title opportunity. And what did I do? I did whatever it took to keep my title opportunity. Which moves me on to Scotty Smalls. I must say, I'm impressed. People like you don't usually make it in my kingdom, but I'm, I'm genuinely impressed. But this is the time when all the gratitude stops. Because the king only cares about what he wants. And I want that world title. So I can make this entire show mean something. If I get that title, everybody will be trembling at my feet. <laughs> and I will be holding over BCW or whatever's left of it with an iron fist. So Scotty, I suggest you keep that title good and well warm for me because the king is about to take what is his <laughs> so tonight was a bit of a 50-50 night for the outcast you know on one side, me and Sam had a banger of a match in our farewell. While on the other half, uh, Tyler and Alex failed to win back their championships. <sighs> Yikes, it's a bit of a bummer. But that's not going to keep us down. Now, a lot of people have been asking, you know, now that we're leaving BCW, where are we going to head out? Where are we going to make our new home felt? I'm going to keep it short and sweet. We got a plan. All of us do. And we're all loading up into my Bugs Be Gone truck, and we're heading down to where we need to go. We're going to make our presence felt. We're going to make the biggest impact in virtual wrestling today. Whether it gets us in the ring, or behind bars with cuffs. Either way, we will be noticed, and we will be heard. Outcasts out. Well, Baron, it seems like you're in quite the predicament here. I mean, really, this is this gotta have a hand fast. What I tell you, when I set my mind to something, I'll do it. And when I said I was leaving, you're damn right I said I was leaving. And, to top it all off, yeah, they all heard it. Chase Arthurs knew it, Kick R knew it, Dave Anderson, Brad Johnson, they all knew it. I was the one to let Morgan Cassidy in the building, and I have no shame for that. And you can't do anything to about it, Baron. Because you know why? Because I'm out. I know what you've done, Baron. And I could have said it out all there. I could have said all of it out on there. But I didn't. I want it to be a solo... A very slow and painful downfall for you. So... How do I put this lightly? How do I put this lightly? Uh, you're fucked. Once everyone else finds out about it, especially your golden boys in the outcasts, 
you'll be nothing but a heap in but, a, but just a lumping pile of heap in the garbage and you can't do anything to me you can't say anything to me you can't suspend me you can't find me of all the money I got on my paycheck for this night because I quit and you even saw that I quit look where I was I was on an actual big stage SWA shockwave and where were you <laughs> well hate to tell you from you were in the hospital after the brutal beating you deserved I'm not gonna go on anymore I think I've given you enough breath. I think I've given you enough time in my breath. This is Connor Claymore saying thank you, fuck you, Baron, and goodbye forever. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Riley Bannon, head interviewer of not only CWA, but head reporter from Car Wrestling Insider, and today I am standing here with my guest, the newly crowned BCW World Heavyweight Champion, Scotty Small. Scotty, thank you for your time. Hey, not a problem, man. Not a problem at all. Scotty, I'm about to ask a question every interviewer asks a brand new champion fresh off of their win. How does it feel right now after everything that Randall Blakely and the breakouts put you through to stand here, BCW World Heavyweight Champion? Man, it feels amazing. It's sur uh, I'm surreal. Like, I'm having still one of those out-of-body experiences, man, where I can't even believe I'm holding this thing. It feels like a dream. A lucid one. That I'm living. And after everything, after all he said about me and my upbringing, this was my chance, my night to shut Randall Blakely up, and I did it. He tasted my boot, and he was out, knocked out like a light. And I stand here, the new BCW champion, determined to be the fighting champion this company deserves. Now, I also want to ask, it seems as though already the opposition is stepping up as the man who is next in line for the championship, King Preston has made his presence felt against you. Do you have any words for King Preston heading into your future title bout with him? King Preston? I ain't worried about him. He's just a big, wannabe king bully. That's all he is. He's a Burger King, if you ask me. He has this higher-than-God-himself attitude about him, but he's low-quality trash at the end of the day. King Preston... Is somebody who I know is going to bring the fight. He's going to bring his dirty tricks. But he's nothing that I can't overcome. I've overcome better. And I've overcome worse. He's just another block in the road. To my reign. As being the best BCW champion I can be. And one more thing I want to ask you. Before we cut this interview short. I know it's a bit of a short interview. But I know you want to celebrate your championship. Do you have any words that you want to say. To the BCW locker room and to its fan base or anyone watching around the virtual wrestling world. You're darn right I do. And that's, keep your eyes on me. Keep them fixated on me because I am determined. I am determined to prove my worth as a wrestler. I may be small, I may be the run of the litter, but my heart, my fight, is bigger than any dog you can imagine, man. I will fight to the day I die. If it means I get to the top of the mountain. I'm here. But I can keep on going higher and higher and higher. i got no limits. And I am determined to show that off. Through and through. Well Scotty. Thank you again for your time. And congratulations once more. On becoming the new BCW World Heavyweight Champion. Ladies and gentlemen. I have been Riley Bannon. Head interviewer of CWA. And head reporter of the Car Wrestling Insider. And we will see you next time. Good night, folks.
Uh, excuse me, Mr. Cassidy, would you mind answering some questions about what happened here tonight? You want answers? You'll get answers when I decide to give you some answers. Now, unless you want to end up like Baron, you'll be out of my way and let me go home. Buzz off. <laughs>